So when we biopsy... The Rosendown Rufus is going to stay with us until tomorrow. Okay. We have to use anesthetic because most dogs won't let us take little pieces of their tissues without it. And you can see the, the masses that we're going to biopsy is right there on the roof of the mouth. So the teeth, the tumor is actually grown around the teeth and, and it's uh, the teeth are loose as you can see and easily pulled out. That's the whole root. And, and we're going to pull out those and then we're going to take a little piece of the tumor and see if we can identify what it is. So you can see this tumor's over on the hard palate or the roof of the mouth and it's involved that tooth and it fell out easily so we have to take a punch biopsy to see if the tumor is, will spread dangerously or when we burn it off if we can get rid of it. It's two here. So we're going to take a punch biopsy uh, of the, the, the lesion. Let me get around while you do that so we can I might actually need a little uh, 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 pair of thumb forceps, Rob. And maybe a little needle to get it out of there. Yeah. A pair of scissors. And maybe I'll nip off that little little rostral piece right there. Oh, it's already going to fall off, so. Where the tooth was. Yeah. It's got a sharp edge and put it right into the tumor. It's a round circle. It's really all we need. Sometimes we take a couple sections just to make sure we have cells from different areas. Yeah. So we take the little piece out you can see him pull it out of that area where the circle cut it out, the instrument cut it out, and then we put it into formaldehyde. And that piece will fix in there, and the cells will be able to be studied by a pathologist. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn cauterize where it was bleeding from where the tooth was. I'm trying not to injure the teeth, but if I have to get that tumor out, and so uh, in order to get that tumor out, I have to burn the whole bed. And so what I do is cauterize it and then use the cutting portion of the instrument to peel off the tumor from the roof of the mouth. All right. So we burned the tumor bed and took out the teeth and we'll see what happens um, and we just try to take out as much as we can and we'll leave, we'll put him on antibiotics and some painkillers and we'll see, see what the t biopsy shows. So when we send those little pieces into the lab in that formaldehyde, they take the, the, the fixed piece of tissue out and they slice it up real thin and they put it on the slide and they study the cells. And this is the diagnosis that they gave, oral extramedullary plasmacytoma. Now that says there that they're typically benign and uh, that the wide surgical excision is curative. Well, because it where it was where it was, all I could do is burn it and hope for the best. They say local recurrence is common, uh, uncommon if it's taken out. So I'm hoping I got enough out. But the nice thing is, is it's not malignant. It's benign. And even if I didn't get it all out during the biopsy procedure, then I can go back in and cauterize some more areas if it wants to come back. But I feel pretty good about that because if it's malignant, it would spread to the bone and to the nasal passages. But because it's benign, we're feeling pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed that video. What I meant to go over is dog had a slow growing tumor on the roof of its mouth. And in order to diagnose whether it would spread into the skull, into the tissues of the nose, into the teeth, and uh, couldn't, won't stop, 
then um, I had to take a piece or a biopsy of it to see if it was benign, to see if it spread to other s tissues, or if it just was a space-occupying tumor and just would grow where it is, maybe make some teeth loose, maybe invade a little bit, but not be near as dangerous. So hopefully when I burned it off, that will stop its growth and put the brakes on it and hopefully burned off the whole thing. If I find that it didn't, then I'll have to go back in and cauterize some other areas. But I felt pretty good about it and maybe I'll try to show you what it looked like a few weeks after I did it. But Pepper isn't a happy dog and he really doesn't like me to get in his mouth and show you anything, so I kind of doubt it. But anyway, I hope he doesn't have to come back in and the painkiller and antibiotics take care of everything. So if you, uh, so thanks for watching, and uh, if you get a chance, check out Dog Dish Diet. Um, I have a, I have a. If you have an itchy dog or a dog with food allergies or an obese dog, I have a little ebook called Feed Your Pet to Avoid the Vet, and uh, what it does is teaches you how to home cook for your dog very easily and economically. Well, have a great day.